you guys, I hit a bin of designer men's items and you are not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. That's a zipper. You see the zipper? It's my little baby head. <laughs> okay, so I went to the bins with my kids the other day, two days ago, and you know, I had a pretty rough week. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this story and show you these items. And it's just crazy. It's like, it's crazy how in the eye of the storm, you know, there's all these little glimmers of hope and you know that everything's going to be okay. So anyways, let's just jump right into the haul. You guys know who I am. If you don't and you're new, my name's Hope. I go by Racks to Riches Resale here on YouTube and other social media platforms. I recently quit my job as a nurse due to breast cancer, and now I'm reselling full-time. So, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. This haul is incredible. I'm not, it's not going to be long, but, all right, so I, we're at the bins, and they had rotated. I gotta take a breath. I am this these new meds I'm on. I'm I get bigger by the day and I am like short of breath. Ugh. They had rotated and I had looked in two two bins for probably a good 15, 20 minutes. I turn around and I notice there's like men's stuff and I'm kind of like Rrr. but the first thing that I see is this. Is it picking it up? Do you see that? Hermes? Hermes. Or however you say it. Hermes. Also, I'm going to butcher every single thing in this haul because it's all Italian designers and I have no clue <laughs> how to say any of them. And I'm like, like I see it and I kind of like squeal inside, but like try to remain calm so that no one else comes over there. And I'm like, is this real? <laughs> So I just slipped it in the cart and I was like, I'll, I'll look at it later. And because of this Hermes scarf, which is real, spoiler alert, it is, it's 100% authentic. The rolled ed edges, it's silk and it has the tag. All the authentic authentication is, yeah. I don't know. I'm filming on my camera or on my phone and I don't know what's going to happen. And it's picking up Dipper instead of me. Oof. Anyways, so it's real, but at the time I didn't know it was real. And I was like, I'm intrigued now. So then I just start looking at everything in the bin. All right. That Hermes scarf, I did look up some comps. And I'll put them on the screen. But that's the Hermes Horse Helmet Silk Pocket Square. And eBay sold comps between $150 and $200, you guys, for one scarf. I got, a, I don't know, 88 pounds, I think, that day. And I spent $147. I'm going to make my money back with just that scarf. Everything else is all profit. It's crazy. Okay, so then... Let me see. This is just the Italo. Then there was some some ties, and I don't get like too excited about ties, but I'm kind of excited about these ties. Um, this is Ital Italo Ferretti, Italo Ferretti, um, and this retails for two hundred fifty dollars. And the eBay sold comps. Now, granted, these were all March and April so far. Fifty to a hundred dollars sold comps on a tie. What? I thought, I didn't think ties went for that much, but apparently, apparently they do. <laughs> and then this is Luigi Borelli Napoli and it's silk and it retails for 235. That's the, lo the like logo. And the eBay comps were as low as 30, but all the way to a hundred. It just depended on the tie and all these ties that I found, they're like super modern. So this guy was very well dressed. My husband thinks that his wife, or ex-wife, I should say, <laughs> he created an entire story. He's like, um, that guy made his wife mad, and she went and donated all of his clothes to the Goodwill. And I'm like, or he's just doing the Lord's work, honey. So, <laughs> you settle the debate. I don't think that a mad woman, 
uh, donated all this stuff. No. But if she did, I'm like, she would burn the stuff. They, she wouldn't donate it to Goodwill if she was mad. <laughs> okay, and then I found these Ermendegildo Zagna. Ermendegildo Zagna. You guys, I cannot say it. But there is four of them. This is the... Come on, pick it up. That's the label. There's four of them. They're all silk. They're all made in Italy. And they're all beautiful. And these have the worst cops. Except a few. Um, these retail for two to three hundred dollars depending on the tie. And I seen eBay sold as low as like 20, but all the way up to 188. And one of the ones that sold for 188 was the gold tie. And I have that gold tie. Um hello. Yeah. So Hermes and then all those Italian designer ties. And then we move into and when I say that these things, let me just show you these things first. These things were on the hangers in the bins. Like they were just in there on the hangers. And I seen this hanger and was like, oh my gosh. Do you see it? Armani Colezioni. This is a two piece <laughs> pants and jacket Armani suit. Armani Colezioni suit with the hanger. I, I can't even believe it. It's like a herringbone and this is on the what is it Bloomingdale's or Macy's website I, I seen the photo of this for so it's not an old style it's sold out on there but I think $1,300 for this suit yay let me put this right here so at this point I'm like I'm not leaving this bin and I pull my cart and I'm like I've got it guarded no one's getting in <laughs> No one is getting close. Okay, and then, I mean, this is his whole wardrobe, like, not a whole wardrobe, but this is, like, because I have athletic wear. I mean, you guys aren't even going to believe it. All right, this is, was on this hanger, and this is, can you see? I can't say this either. Pronto Uomo Llama. Pronto Uama. This is just a jacket. This guy wasn't, like, very big. All his stuff is like a large. His waist is a 34. These jackets, I think, are 42, but I think that's an Italian size. I don't know exactly, but I like this guy was around a size large. Um, with a neck of 15 and a half dash 34. I know everything about him. I'd love to meet him. If you're watching this, sir, and this is all your stuff. <laughs> Let's do lunch. <laughs> your treat. <laughs> Okay, this is what I'm most excited about. I'll pop up some comps on the screen. This is Macy's hanger. This is a black 100% cashmere jacket. And it is this brand, Isaiah. <laughs> See that? Isaiah Napoli Aqua Cashmere. And there's that Aqua Cashmere symbol right there. Quit looking at It's trying to pick up my face and not this. Come on. Aqua Cashmere. The way this feels, it's literally impeccable. And all his stuff was on hangers and just nicely pressed. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's in like pristine condition. I got to calm down because I'm just so excited. I can barely control myself. So then here's, and I'm, hold on, let me show you these because I'm pretty sure he wore that, that suit or that cashmere blazer with these gray like speckled wool see how everything has pleats i mean yeah and this is the brand <laughs> i do not know oh what i was going to tell you about that blazer it retails for five thousand dollars that cashmere one it retails for five thousand dollars i won't get anywhere near that you guys but i don't know i don't know i'm just beside myself okay this is the brand Gruppo Artigiani made in Italy Luigi Botto I have no idea like there's all these different labels but they're wool they're in flawless condition I I steamed what I needed to because you know everything was in my bags from the bins you guys know I immediately checked out as soon as I had all this stuff in my cart I was like we gotta go <laughs> I mean I came back in but I I had to check out 
Then this is a, another Armani Colezioni blazer. It's black and white, like a herringbone. Oh my gosh. Like, wasn't he the best dressed ever? Made in Italy. Ugh. Okay, and then here are a couple of his shirts. I love this man. I do. I have a crush on him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, these are Brooks Brother Regent, the original polo. So Brooks Brothers, there's two of them. Same exact size. I'm going to um, lot them together. I'm probably putting all of this stuff on eBay. Okay, then there was this... Let me see what the fabric was on this. Yeah, 100% Pima cotton. This is Johnston and Murphy. I've never heard of it, but it was in that bin. That's the label. It was in that bin and I thought, well, must be good, but I haven't looked it up. And then I'll do, then here, these are his Lululemon joggers, <laughs> size large. There's the Lulu right down there. I mean, <laughs> like, can you believe it? I don't know what these are called, but they are size large. I haven't looked those up yet. Um, this is Ted Baker, London. Ted Baker, size large, and I'm pretty sure this is like a cashmere. Viscose cotton and wool, little purple quarter zip. Then these are Viore and I seen this tag and I thought, oh my gosh, is that Aviator Nation? Because <laughs> I seen that colorful little tag. Because I've never found Viore. But let me show you. This is the label. And this is like a really good brand. Like this is super popular and very expensive. So, and these are like little straight leg cargo hiking. They have like zippers. Also size large. It was like an active wear outdoorsy brand. And then this is his Lululemon jacket. I can't tell if this is black or blue. Every time I think about it, I think it's black. But then when I put it up against like my black tank top, it kind of looks like it's blue. But it's a hooded jacket. Men oh, my stomach's growling. Men's, there's the Lulu right there. Can you believe this? <laughs> I was dying you guys like literally dying then there is this Bonobos which you know isn't this is a slim XL but this is a 100% I'm sure yeah 100% extra fine merino wool gray I can just imagine him wearing his little sweaters with his little dress shirts underneath and then this is Nordstrom Men's Shop, extra large, 100% cashmere. It is impeccable. Not a flaw on it. Let me see. 100% cashmere. Oh my gosh. The softest, most luxurious sweater you'll ever touch. And then I found his Lululemon, his Lululemon underwear. They have the rip tag still. They're a medium. I just washed them. Well, I haven't yet, but they're clean. All his stuff was very clean. Like it smells, when I was steaming, I could smell him. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> so my son's getting those because, you know, you can't sell used underwear. And then I think, you know, he leisurely took hikes and he liked Marmot. Here's a 30. These are 34. These were his as well. All right, well, I think this is, what we have a belt, Joseph Abound, 34, genuine leather, handcrafted in Italy, just a brown men's belt. And then there's this, I found this Uniqlo bag, it's like a cooler bag in the bin, and then there was the Uniqlo extra large, um, extra fine merino wool, 100% navy sweater. Okay, that's what I found in that bin, like in this one section of that bin. But here's the story. So you guys know I have, I've been diagnosed with breast cancer and I went through the mastectomy and the reconstruction and I'm going to have to have another surgery 
in probably August to release scar tissue and he wants to change out like my implants because he doesn't like the way I have, I have one sitting high and one sitting low. So he wants to do like a high profile. I have no idea. I'm so confused. Um, my cancer antigen came back elevated as well as my calcium. It's not like super crazy off the charts elevated, but he, my oncologist says you have to get on them. You have to take the meds and you have to stay on them because I've been on them and then I go off because I can't handle the side effects. And so here we are. I'm on it. He put me on um, tamoxifen and gabapentin combo. And so far it's not too bad. I just have literally gained like five pounds. I feel like in three days, like it's just like, I just feel huge. And if I felt better then I might, would might be able to exercise. But like when you feel terrible, like how do you exercise? I don't know. Anyways. So that's my story. I'm in that bin and I like step down, you know, to continue to look because the bins are huge. And this was just in one half. It was all like just dumped in. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and I don't know like how spiritual you guys are or whatever, but like, I feel like there's like signs, you know, there's like signs. And in that bin, just a step down, I pulled out this and it says crawling is acceptable. Falling is acceptable. Puking is acceptable. Blood is acceptable. Sweat is acceptable. Pain is acceptable. Quitting is not. And it's literally Wonder Woman with the breast cancer. Um, yeah, I'm going to cry. I'm not going to cry. But like, it was like, wow. Thank you. Like I've had a, I had a horrible week. <laughs> There's just lots of things going on. And like, it's like this bin was meant for me. <laughs> it was meant for me and it brightened my day and I hope it brightened yours by, you know, so yeah, I guess the message is, is in the eye of a storm, there's always that glimmer of hope or that little sign that reminds you to keep going no matter what and yeah luckily mine just came in the form of a giant pile of designer men's items <laughs> so i'm gonna be listing this stuff on ebay probably like the lululemon stuff i'll be putting on posh as well oh <sighs> i don't know how long it's gonna take me because i'm i've got to research all of it like and how to convert site i don't even know like i know nothing about men's if you guys do let me know uh, any tips are greatly appreciated. And yeah, that day I got 88 pounds and this is only a fraction of it. So I'll have the rest of it, which is a whole bunch of women's stuff. Also really good stuff. Not like this. Not like, no, no Hermes, <laughs> but yeah, that'll be coming soon. All right. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was gifted to me. <laughs> from the bins. Okay, that's it for today's video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to follow along the journey. It's wild around here. It's wild around here. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye!